52. Which of the following is equivalent to the expression shown below? So now we're dealing with imaginary numbers. Let's begin by distributing the negative sign. So this is 8 plus 5i minus 4i squared. And then the two negative signs will make the next term positive. So this is going to be plus 7i and then plus 5. Now let's combine like terms. So we can add these two. 8 plus 5 is 13. Next, we can combine 5i and 7i. That's going to be 12i. Now, what is i squared? i is the square root of negative 1. i squared is going to be the square root of negative 1 squared, which is negative 1. So negative 4i squared is negative 4 times negative 1, which becomes positive 4. So now let's add these two numbers, 13 and 4. 13 plus 4 is 17. So thus we have the answer, 17 plus 12i. Answer choice C. Number 53. What is the product of the complex numbers 3 plus 4i? and 5 minus 2i. The product tells us that we need to multiply these two complex numbers. So let's FOIL. We have 3 plus 5, which is 15, and then 3 times negative 2i, that's negative 6i, and then 4i times 5, that's going to be 20i, and then 4i times negative 2i, which is negative 8i squared. Now, our next step is to combine like terms. Negative 6i plus 20i, that's going to be 14i. And i squared, i is the square root of negative 1. So i squared is going to be the square root of negative 1 squared which becomes negative 1. So negative 8i squared is negative 8 times negative 1. So this becomes 15 plus 14i plus 8. So let's add those two numbers. 15 plus 8 is 23. So it's going to be 23 plus 14i, which corresponds to answer choice D. 54. Which of the following is equivalent to the expression shown below? So in this problem, we are dividing two complex numbers. We're dividing 2 plus 3i by 5 plus 2i. So how can we do this? In order to simplify this expression, we need to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So what is the conjugate of the denominator? It's going to have a 5. It's going to have a 2i. But instead of the positive sign, we're going to use a negative sign. Now at this point, what we want to do is FOIL. So let's multiply 2 times 5, which is 10. And then 2 times negative 2i, that's going to be negative 4i and then 3i times 5, which is 15i, and then 3i times negative 2i, that's negative 6i squared. On the bottom, let's do the same thing. So we have 5 times 5, which is 25, 5 times negative 2i, and then 2i times 5, and then 2i times negative 2i squared, which is negative 4i squared. Next, let's combine like terms. We can add those two, and negative 10i plus 10i will cancel. Negative 4 plus 15, that's going to be positive 11. And we have negative 6i squared. i squared is negative 1. So negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6. Now, negative 4i squared, that's negative 4 times negative 1. So this will be positive 4. 
Now, 10 plus 6 is 16. And 25 plus 4 is 29. Now, we need to put the answer in A plus BI format. That's in standard form. A is the real number. BI is the imaginary part of the complex number. So we're going to divide each number by 29. So we're going to have 16 divided by 29, and then 11 divided by 29 times i. So we can see that answer choice D is the right answer. Number 55, simplify. What is i raised to the 283 equal to? Well, there are some things that we need to know before we could find an answer. i is equal to the square root of negative 1. And we know that i squared, this is equal to, okay, that 2 just doesn't look right. Let's do that again. i squared is negative 1. i cubed is going to be i squared times i. So this is negative 1 times i, or simply negative i i to the fourth power is i squared squared. So that's negative 1 squared, which is 1. So to summarize it, here's what we have. i is the square root of negative 1. i squared is equal to negative 1. i to the third is negative i. And i to the fourth is 1. But we're going to show the work for every step. Just keep that in mind. So what we can do is break down 283 into 280 plus 3. Next, let's divide 280 by 4. 28 divided by 4 is 7. So 280 divided by 4 is 70. So we can write this as i to the fourth raised to the 280, I mean to the 70 power, because 4 times 70 is 280. i cubed, I'm going to write that as i squared times i. Now, i to the fourth, I'm going to write it as i squared squared. i squared is negative 1. So this is what we now have. This is for those of you who want to show the work for every step. Now, negative 1 squared is positive 1. And negative 1 times i is negative i. 1 to the 70th power is still 1. So this is 1 times negative i, which gives us a final answer of negative i. So B is the correct answer.